What's up, what's up? It's Laura Mad representing the Black Moon Pack. Real nigga news, you know what it is. I'm over here. I got this microphone, you heard? Feeling like a big boss ass nigga. Look, I gotta send a frame. I'm keeping it real. Listen, I told y'all I was gonna do this little video where I'm basically, I'm telling y'all niggas about things that we clown each other for, for not having like formal education and why we don't need to do that shit, right? So I'm gonna look for the thing on my other, you know, I'm on my other phone. I'm trying to find this little thought process. Um, while I do that, basically what I wanted to say, just to let y'all niggas know how this shit came to be, was that I was watching niggas like Joe Rogan. You know, he got his own podcast, and also motherfuckers like um, Double Toasted. You know. Listening to Double Toasted and Joe Rogan, it's like these niggas is always talking about how they not gonna, they not gonna say something about a certain topic just because they don't like have formal education on that thing. And it's like, how you gonna take that position, man? You can't call yourself stupid. Like I done sat there and watched Joe Rogan all the time say, "Hey, I'm not gonna even debate what space is because I'm not smart enough to even talk about that." It's like, what you mean? Nigga, you the same as every astronaut nigga out there. The only thing is they dedicated their time to that one thing. You dedicated your time to something else. That don't mean that you can't have opinions on something, you know? And um, to say that, we also don't know what's real and what's fake. You know? We, we never know what the hell is real and what's fake. These niggas could say they do this and that, but we don't know if they did it. I told y'all niggas before, one of these astronaut niggas was like, man... We passed through the Van Allen belt because if you have to pass through it, then we passed through it and nothing was wrong with us, you know? But now astronauts is trying to figure out a way to get through that. So it's like, I thought y'all figured that out already. It's clear lies in some of this stuff. You know, but what I want to talk about is how we don't need school. So Joe Rogan fueled that shit. My phone is about to die. I don't know if I'm going to make it. But basically, I want to talk about education, diet, waste management, childbirth and child raising. And science and shit like that I should have got a charger real quick But I ain't think to do it So I'm going to try to make it quick Education Niggas never really needed education In the formal way that we think now Because you always had your parents Teaching you shit that you actually need to know You know what I mean Motherfucking animals live fine on the world In the world On top of the world I don't know You know what I'm saying These niggas live fine basically You know a nigga I burp all the time I'm a burping ass nigga son I'm getting old Anyway I turned the mic off for that So y'all niggas ain't have to hear But you see my throat do this So anyway listen Education Just like with the animals The animals don't need to go to school Somehow they are being taught What they need to do And some other way They know some things That they need to do from birth You know what I mean So it's like these niggas Don't need no institution So when we think about us And we call ourselves animals It's like why do we sit here and go to school to learn a bunch of shit that we don't need? Everything we go to school to learn is about something a man made. A man made words, a man made math, you know what I mean? A man made these books we reading, a man made the idea of what space is and how the planets move and all of that shit. You know what I mean? And none of that shit matters, nigga. What we don't learn is how to make the food, how to make a house, you know what I mean? Food and shelter, nigga. That's what animals is worried about. We worried about all this abstract shit, and we don't know how to do nothing for ourselves. Like, that's the crazy part. So, basically, excuse my little, uh, I forgot it. The problem being that education was kind of introduced to make us dumber. You know what I mean? To take away intelligence. True intelligence, I would feel, is the ability to... Fucking take care of yourself You know what I mean Nigga said we don't know how to do nothing I don't know where the fuck my food come from I just ate some White Castle shit Some surf and turf Nigga put burger with fish Nigga I don't even know what's going on on the earth But I know it was delicious I probably couldn't catch a fish I mean if I try long enough I'm gonna catch a motherfucking fish But I probably couldn't catch a fish like right now You know what I mean And catch a cow And kill it Kill both And make that same sandwich I can't make that sandwich nigga it's not going to taste like nothing boiling. Even if it did, it's not going to be the same texture. Like, you know what I'm trying to say. We ain't need the education that they gave us. We just needed to know how to survive through life. You know what I mean? And they took that shit away from us. So when you're looking at a person and you're saying, like, like with the school system, you'll talk to a person and be like, listen, you ain't go to school for teaching kids, so who are you to say what a kid should learn? 
This is the type of shit we say to each other. We no longer accept your opinion based on what you see and your experience and your observations. We don't want that. Nigga, your, your fucking opinion better be fueled by if the government said your opinion is validated, nigga, and we the most talking like, fuck the government what they say. Nigga, that's all you care about. Let's move on to the next one so my phone don't die. Diet, right? That's dealing with shit that you eat. Real nigga shit. Your diet is, of course, ooh, my shoulder. I can't keep my shoulder up because that's going to make y'all niggas like, yo, he off center. Nigga said, why he look like this? Listen, what you eat, nigga, it's the same thing I was just talking about with the schooling, nigga. Food is food, son. We knew what to eat. Nobody ever had to be like, yo, you should be eating this much grain, a fistful of grain, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe a hand, two handfuls of grain and uh, a handful of full of vegetables and you should only eat like half a handful of meat it's like nobody need that nigga because everything on earth is so fucking difficult to get that you're going to eat what's the easiest to eat which is the plants which gives you excuse me if that's popping on the mic which is the plants which is the easiest thing to get right that's fine you get that that's easy the meat the motherfucking animals that's being used for meat if you count count like eggs and shit and the work that a cow can do or an ox you know, if you count that as valuable, then when you think about it, you know, you ain't going to just be like, nigga, I'm going to kill a chicken or I'm going to kill an ox. This nigga could do mad work for you. This nigga could produce mad eggs. This other nigga could, could do mad, like, physical work that you can't do at such ease. You know what I mean? So it wouldn't even be in your best interest to eat all that goddamn meat. So, like, nigga, we created the... Nah, we. I ain't even going to say I ain't take no parts in this shit. Fuck them niggas. Listen. They created the world where we don't even, like, know what we need to eat no more, nigga. Like, we out here bugging out, like, oh, damn, I need to find a diet. I got to go to the gym. That's because you eat too much, son. You have no choice but to eat too much because everything is too easy to get to you. And we think this world is, like, our, our technology. This is the best time in the history of human, humankind. But right now, it's like, nigga, we got a bunch of dumbass problems that never existed. These niggas had real problems, nigga. We dealing with, ah, keep eating, nigga, keep eating the wrong things, ah, dying. Like, what's wrong with you, nigga? Stop eating. And that's the boat I'm in, nigga. I'm fat. Can't stop eating. Nigga, shit too easy. I'm stressed out. I want a burger. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's the diet. We never needed anybody to teach us about diet, right? So, oh, what fueled that? That one section was that I was listening to small fucker Joe Budden. There's too many Joe Joes. It's too many. <laughs> It's too, I was about to say Joe, Joe Brogan. <laughs> it's too many, my bad, that was like some gay shit I almost said yesterday. It's too many Joes in the podcast game, so I'm like, I can't remember the motherfucking name. So Joe Budden, he was talking to his homie Maul, or Mal, Maul, I think it's Maul, on the Joe Rogan, god damn it, on the Joe Budden podcast. I'm tripping all over them Joes, pause. And um, basically, the, the Maul nigga, he was like, listen, he believed that some statement some other celebrity made was cool because... She was like, you should be feeding your kid natural things. And he like, yeah, smoothies is good for babies. You know what he trying to say, nigga. Natural shit, fruits and vegetables is good for your children. Joe like, no, no, no. We not just going to sit here and act like, you know, niggas don't be dying from... He said some, some other shit. But basically his point was that, you know, some people eat the natural things and it kills their kids. It's like, nigga, I don't know what the fuck you talking about, bro. We know for a fact processed stuff fucks up your body so if you start to talk about maybe processed food has been bred into our genetics for so long that now we can't even take natural things to certain degrees you know if you want to have that conversation that's cool but just to be like this nigga bugging for saying that a smoothie is good for a baby nigga it's a fruit and a vegetable son everything that's the shit that was bugging me out because the niggas the doctors was like don't get a baby water nigga said don't get a baby water because yeah they can't process water nigga said they can't process water you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a polite dude, and I ain't got time to argue with niggas about all this stupid shit, but, bro, how the baby can't process water? That's water, nigga. The baby was surrounded by water in the womb, nigga. Will you... T Whoo. All right, listen. I ain't got time, because these niggas be bugging me out. That's the diet, basically. We don't need to be talking to niggas like, oh, you don't know. You don't know. You ain't go to school. You ain't no dietitian, nigga. You can't be telling niggas what they supposed to eat. Because a long time ago, a motherfucker put a seed in the ground, and the shit grew up. And they didn't put no pesticides in it. And they was able to pick that bitch up, flick the bug off of it, maybe dip it in some water, and bite it, nigga. And they wasn't hungry no more. We out here worrying about too much shit just to eat. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't want to worry about if the meat tainted, you know what I'm saying, or take it to plants. Because, nigga, lettuce be tainted, too. I know I said that way. Lettuce be tainted, too, nigga. I don't want to worry about if the lettuce is tainted, you know what I'm saying, if I'm going to die from this salad, crazy shit like that. I don't want to worry about if I eat this shit, I'm going to get cancer because the pesticides they put in it. Like, we got to worry about mad dumb shit. I'm done with diet. Fuck these niggas. It's real nigga news. Listen, waste management. Ooh, I like that one. The shit dirty. We getting dirty out here right now. We getting dirty. You know what I'm saying? We talking about that waste management. We getting real doodle out here. You heard? We getting real dookie out here in these streets. Listen, waste management. I feel like that's an easy ass thing to solve. You know what I mean? Waste management, nigga. Manage the waste. It's the easiest thing. Don't leave your fucking dookie. Don't get. Oh, we getting nasty out here in these streets. Don't leave your dookie near the water that you drink. I know it's a saying like that somewhere on the, Don't leave your dookie near the water you drink. Don't pee in the water you drink, silly ass nigga. Take that shit far from the water source so that it just gets put in the ground and the animals, excuse me, the plants, excuse me, the bugs that's supposed to, you know, bugs that's supposed to do this shit right here, they supposed to eat that, pause. You know what I'm saying? Because eating dookie is dirty, nigga. The, the, the animals, excuse me, the plants, excuse me, the bugs that's supposed to eat that, they go ahead and they eat it. And it's not near your water source. They turned it into something else. That's compost, son. Something like that. You better get it together, son. They gonna break it down. Just It's the easiest thing. Like This is why I don't fuck with niggas. Because niggas will be like, yo. You can't tell me nothing about waste management. What you think? You just gonna put a hole in the ground? You gonna put the dookie there? Yeah, nigga. And you don't do it too much. And you move the spots. And you allow the things to be broken down into other things. What's wrong with y'all? Get it together. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with that. I don't like talking about that Dookie stuff. Like, Dookie, that shit make me uncomfortable. I don't even like saying that word. I hope the shit recording, son, because I put it on. The mic is on. The mic ain't got no limit on the spinny thing. You know what I'm saying? You got the spinny thing that, that lets you turn the volume up. Ain't no limit. Like, it's supposed to go click. My shit don't click at the end. So I'm like, I guess it's all the way up. Like, I guess it's always all the way up. Or the shit might be all the way down all the time. Like, it's the crazy part. But this bitch recording. Let me see. Child birthing. I'm trying to get done with this, right? Child birthing, niggas never needed no help with that. And the proof, again, is the animals, son. I done watched some child birthing videos with the animals. Well, it's not a child because, like, it's an animal birthing, right? Because they're not children. But you know what I mean, but I, I don't want, I'm a dickhead. I don't watch some, I don't even know what to do with myself no more. I don't watch some animal birthing videos, and it's like, I ain't never been sitting there watching an animal birthing video and... The, the animal moms was like, I right, have about to have this baby. And then the father pulled up in the car and he put it in the back of the Jeep. You know what I'm saying? He drove them to the hospital and then they got out and they put her on the gurney and they, they put her to the room and it was like, I ain't seen none of that, son. All I saw was the motherfucking animal sat for a minute, stood up, had the baby, went about his life, son. Ain't no ACS coming. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody took the, the placenta, the giraffe, and was like, nigga, what you was doing for the last six months? Nobody did that. We live wicked lives, nigga. This shit bugged out out here. Fucking childbirthing, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no way, like, niggas want to say it's the same thing, like, uh, probably the Joe Budden shit. Like, niggas, you talk as if we need some type of formal schooling to do things that come natural to the body, nigga. When a woman is giving birth... Her body is doing all the work, nigga. She might be like, ah, I don't want to do it. But really, son, your body is going to start doing shit. It's like when you pour water into your mouth. Eventually, this is going to start moving. And the water is going to go down. And you're drinking even if you don't want to. You know what I mean? Eventually, that's how the shit work. Eventually, in a woman, the shit start doing this. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is what it start doing. It's pushing, pushing the baby out, nigga. We think it's the woman. Nah, it's not the woman. She's not like, yeah, I got power, Will. Ah, uh, I'm having this baby. No, nigga, the inside of her body was like the baby is done being in here, the motherfucker too big, and it started pushing the shit out, son. It just take time and a little bit of pain. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, son. This this shit, we don't need no doctors. Like, this shit helps in the extremes. But the extremes don't even be extreme like that. Like, you think babies is always getting messed up? We don't know what these niggas is doing. We don't know what these niggas is doing. Suffocating. Why we always hearing about the the, the the cord wrapped around the neck, nigga? That's movie shit. We don't know if that shit happened as frequently as they say or as they portray. Come on, son. I don't even want to talk about that shit because I'm supposed to be getting done. My phone about to die. Listen, 
The next one was child raising. You know how niggas. That got to do with education too. Everything that we teach the kids. You know, they tell you don't beat your kids. It's like, I don't know, son. We just don't need no help with nothing, son. This is the stupid part. We don't need these niggas schooling. That's why everything on this list is damn near the same for me. We don't need these niggas to teach us what's what. We don't need that. What the fuck they going to tell us about raising a kid? Like, they try to do that shit, but honestly, it's like no way for them to do it. Because if you naturally can have the baby, you naturally know what to do to raise a child. It's shit that you do all the time, and you be like, damn, I want my kid to do this, or I don't want my kid to go through this situation. That's how you learn this shit. And you know what to do. It just be the world around you that be fucking up what you want to do and what you need to do and how you feel. All of that shit gets put into the same pot and you picking and choosing the points, but you going to do which one of them things. You know what I mean? Hope y'all niggas can hear this shit. I'm kicking real shit. Listen. Niggas don't need no help with no child raising. Just raise your kid. And raise them, if you got empathy and sympathy as a person, when you do something that is fucked up to your child, you should know it, son. You know what I'm saying? I yell at my kids sometimes. I be like, damn, I feel bad. Let me go say sorry to them. You know? Because you got to be fair and you got to be honest. Like, nigga, I was yelling at you because I was just mad. Like, you ain't really do nothing too wrong. It's like, I'm sorry. You know, shit like that. Uh, This is the last thing I want to say. I'm going to try to read this shit from here, right? So, the science one. This is the big one. The shit says, most things we learn came from observation. Do we really need to know how it works unless we are trying to manipulate said thing? We only need to know how it works and how to maneuver through said laws, i.e. gravity was figured out by watching things fall. We seek to understand how gravity works in hopes that we can create something to counteract gravity. In reality, all we need to know is things fall, and the higher they fall from, the more damage will be caused, so stay away from heights. So, the shit that I was trying to talk about with the science shit is basically, like, a lot of the shit that we talk about in science, whether it's real or not, we don't really even need to know, you know? All we need to know about is the shit that we see in front of us, like the gravity shit, you know? If you go too high and you fall from that height, knowing that everything going to fall, and the higher you fall from, the more it's going to harm the thing, then you know not to fall from a height, and you might not risk even going too high. So that you don't fall. In in all natural like realities of the world, you don't need to be that high, nigga. It's enough space on the earth to just make every building regular. But the problem is we weren't about attractions. Every building that was made a long time ago before it was like, let's build condos so niggas could live in for space. You know what I'm saying? This shit was all attractions. Niggas like, yo, I'm building this big shit because I want to build the biggest thing. You know what I mean? It's all stupid shit. So with that, I had to burp a little bit, excuse me. With that... I don't know how powerful this microphone is, but that, it's like you stay away from the heights, nigga. <laughs> it's like, I can't explain this shit in a simpler way. Science is not necessary. Motherfucker, it's necessary, but it's natural, nigga. You look up at the stars, you say, well, imagine this. Niggas, everything. Niggas looked up at the sky. Niggas said, the sun is moving around me. The moon is moving around me. The stars are moving around me, but much slower. Science came along and said, nah, son, that's not true. I know we ain't got no better telescopes than really what the natural eye can see, but you know what I think? Nigga, I think, really, we moving around all that shit. And we just like, what? And then them niggas like, a couple years later, hey, look, I got the proof here. It's like, son, get that bullshit out of here, son. What you talking about? You telling me against all things that we saw. Which is the sun is moving around us, the moon is moving around us, everything in the sky is rotating around us. Niggas said, listen, I I forget which nigga it is. Niggas said, hey, man, you know what I think? I think we really moving around all that shit and the sun is just really sitting there still. Niggas said, why? The reason being, because we can't be that special. Son, your reasoning is not even real like that. Because... If from an observer's point, it's the observer effect. When you think about that shit with science, like I really like science like that, but it'd be bullshit in certain circumstances. The observer effect tells you, not the observer effect, that's the wrong effect I'm talking about. Excuse that. The observer effect is some crazy shit though. The observer effect tells you that when you observing something, the outcome of it is going to change just because you're looking at it. Even though we talk about like shit that don't got a brain, son. You, that's like if I know you watching me and I sell drugs, but you watching me, so I ain't going to sell drugs today, nigga. But we talking about the universe. 
this shit is crazy. You know what I mean? So it's a different effect where where the observer it's something like that. The observer of a point or in a point, they're going to see their position as the center of the universe or some shit like that. So it's basically like the way that we see the universe from the earth and the way that it seems like everything revolves around us. Supposedly, if we was to go to Mars and be looking up into the sky, it would also look like everything is revolving around us. The problem is, niggas came up with that shit before they visited other planets, nigga. This is my thing. What is this shit where niggas creating some outlandish ass shit and they like, this is just what it is. I figured it out. Look at my IQ. I'm the smartest nigga on earth. You know what I'm saying? That's what niggas do. I did it, nigga. Ain't nobody a long time ago believe that niggas came from monkeys and then one day, one day a nigga was like, yo, look, we got thumbs. Monkeys got thumbs. I want a lot of everybody. Like, that's, nigga, that's what the fuck it is. Because the nigga that could come and be like, yo, we came from monkeys. And you like, what? And then he like, yo, look at my proof. We both got thumbs. And he like, oh, shit. I ain't never even think about that like that. Because I ain't never really even been around a monkey. Nigga, I ain't see a monkey till you told me we was related to monkeys, basically. So it's like, and niggas is like, wow, son, we probably related to monkeys. Now this nigga's the smartest nigga on earth. Now he the smartest nigga on earth because he done lied to everybody and said we came from monkeys, son. This shit is crazy out here. Niggas lied about the stars, everything. What the fuck was I talking about? Science. Yeah, nigga done forgot. Listen. With that science shit, we observed with the stars and all of that. We observed everything and we saw how it was. And that's just what it was. Because clearly that's what it is, nigga. But these niggas still can't produce nothing real. These niggas are still producing CGI shit. CGI shit. Animated shit. You know what I'm talking about? Hand-drawn shit. These niggas is producing mad fake videos. You know what I'm talking about? Shit like that. They doing all that. But they not producing something real like what we look up into the sky and see. We see the properties of it, nigga. Science tells you to observe shit. You have a hypothesis. You observe. You create a motherfucking like, like, nah, what is it? Question, observation, hypothesis, nigga. And then you got to prove that shit right. The problem is everything that these niggas say is real. We can't even observe, nigga. Nigga said, yo, we a long time ago, shit was just changing. You heard? Animals was bigger. They was different. Some of them some of them was like giant. You know what I mean? Humans wasn't humans. We was half monkey, half human motherfuckers. Neanderthals, whatever you want to call it. I'ma just call it half human, half monkey, cause they lying. And my, dumb motherfuckers was hybrids too, son. I'm on my real shit. So they tell you all that. But if you're going by the scientific method that these niggas created, then that means you could never prove this shit, son. These niggas tell you the fucking earth and everything in the universe was created by a Big Bang. You know what I mean? But the Big Bang is a singularity where nothing existed and then something existed and then that something exploded and became other things. You can't recreate that because everything is here already. So that's another thing we can't observe. So how are we going to prove it? The fuck? This shit don't make sense. Son. Scientifically, this shit is not sound, son. These niggas' theories and what they say is real, that shit is not scientifically... Scientifically sound, nigga, I almost missed one of them syllables out that bitch. Listen, that's that science shit. Let me see if I wrote anything else. Fucking, um, you know, oh, yeah, with the hopes to re- uh, counteract gravity. Like, when you're thinking about how we we trying to understand the, the ways of the universe, usually it's not just to understand it. It's to do something else with this shit. These niggas want to understand oxygen because if the planet is real like they say... They want to be able to put oxygen on other places. So they could do what? What you think they're going to do with this shit, son? Like, when we being honest, we being honest about shit. You think these niggas going to just make oxygen on the moon and then not charge niggas to, to live on the moon? It's not. They'll fuck up the whole earth and then charge niggas to move to the moon, son. And then when they fuck up the whole moon, they charge niggas to move to Mars, son. This shit is stupid and it's not fucking possible because you have to make an endless supply of oxygen, nigga. This is shit that they, they don't think about, nigga. What you gonna do? Goddamn, the kids is coming. Oh, Lord, it's about to get loud. Listen, this real nigga news, Black Moon Pack, Black Moon Productions. I represent Hallway Mob 2. They gotta get out this bitch because the kids is coming. It's about to get real loud. I ain't gonna let them interrupt my real nigga stuff. 
This is my real nigga stuff. I'm supposed to call this shit the real nigga recorded. So I'm going to call these bitches real nigga recorded. I'm going to hit y'all with this. Hopefully the mic was working. I'm out. Peace.